Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to Kyoto Colorful Days. And, uh, you know, last time we did the, the, uh, good grief. Rainfire at the beginning. We did the uh, solo route where we, uh, went to Japan, basically did nothing, and then just went home again. So, then we started on Akane's route. So, let's see how her story goes. Yeah, we, we went and had dinner with her again, and, uh, she basically said she'd help us find a job. And talked about how much she loved hers. And we did meet those two guys in the last episode on the solo route. Um, who are definitely going to be players in the Connie's route. And uh, definitely sounds like they're going to try. They're trying to get somebody out of business. Or somebody out of somewhere. Which, yeah. Definitely ma making me think that they're going to be trying to get a Connie's uh, family out of business. So let's see if that's going to be right. Oh, we're meeting the parents. Okay. Oi, oi, don't I stand ya? Look at some more hard on your car. Then I say, I don't know. Oh, man, it's so dang good. I get off. What does she need? So dang. She know Mohana Stero. I got no stoma. She got to sell us the haru you, Hanasi. Oh, Toshko, my gosh, she sits in the store. Okay, good. She's speaking good about me. That's what I was worried about. That foreign guy, okay. あかねそれはできへん力になってあげたい気持ちはええけどうちも慈善事業やないんや慣れてはらへん人を雇ううんは厳しいわそれに今は<笑> お前も分かってるやろ。今のアサヒアで雇うても彼を巻き込むだけやないか。Get this one of them really grim ones, and I'll die. This isn't one of those grim ones, though, so I'll probably not die. There are bad endings of this game. Probably not die. So, so Hopefully nobody dies. <laughs> Oops. Oops. So were we were we there when she was talking to him? See this game that it it does that. It drops the first person. That kind of that's kind of jarring because that most games keep the perspective of you know main character always with the view. You know, yeah. This one you know I remember you know when the stalker was like. Madoka. <laughs> Look there, right there. I mean, they didn't show him doing that, but we're gonna assume he did. <laughs> you know, it cut. You know, cut away from uh, from the main character when he was doing that. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, do nice time. Oh. Era, you watch Kumbi Haru mitai ya kedo. We can skip a bit. Okay. Well, we're gonna invite Akane. Cause of course. I'm I wonder if she'll be at Asahia. Oh, to me. Kimi ga Rusu ya to wakatta ra Asahia ni modoru yute da kara na. Cool. Then I'll go call by Asahia. I don't think I'll be home that late, but if I'm if I'm not going to be back by dinner, I'll give you a call. Ha ha ha. Sona ni kini sen demo daijoubu ya. Iro iro mite tanoshimeru basho wa gyosan aru kara kimi mo yukkuri kankou shite kuru to e. And sees me off with a smile. <laughs> Soon as I entered the restaurant, Akane's voice greets me. Yeah, Ken told me he said you'd come come back to Asahia, so I thought I'd drop by. Are you busy right now? Cool. 
So this is the part where last time she was like, well, dude wasn't at the, uh, at the, at the motel, so, um, guess I'll just not see him again. <laughs> that would have been pretty interesting if she had turned up in Madoka's ending where, oh, dude, you, you're, okay, cool, you're staying? Awesome. Uh, wow, you've got your girl. That's cool. Wow. Nice that I only met you like a month, month ago. <laughs> I see, I was, well, I guess it was about a month and a half. I think he stayed there for like two weeks, and then he was like, skipped ahead a month. Right? Is that how that, how the story worked? I have a terrible memory. I see, I was thinking of going sightseeing too, so, and then came to ask you. Hmm. I think I can go to that. Can't remember the name of it. The Dara place. Ends with Dara. I can't remember the name of that place. Koi Mizudera? Oh yeah, that is the name of it. Koi Mizudera. No, I hadn't really thought of anywhere. If there's anywhere you recommend, then I'd like to go there. I'm guessing that because, well, that seems like the place where we went both the Madoka's route and went on our own. And we were on, when we were on our own, we met those two dudes there. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing they were technically there when we were there with Madoka last time, too, so... She's gonna make a liar out of me. Kushimi Inari Taisha, huh? Hmm, that's the place with all the Tori gates, right? Makani pulls me by the hand and we set off towards Fushimi Inari Taisha. Taisha. I think it's Taisha. Whoa! I've seen it in guidebooks, but the real thing is nothing short of a masterpiece. This looks pretty cool. Are all those individual gates there? That's, that is pretty cool. I'm going to... I'm just going to assume since she has her eyes closed, she's just running through the place with her eyes closed. Bumping into people. Knocking things over. It is funny how anime characters are animated, you know, are, are drawn. They'd be like, like that right there, with their eyes closed. I just like to imagine them really actually walking around, you know, with their eyes closed and talking. <laughs> Why are there so many Tori here? Don't most other shrines only have one? No other famous shrines, and I'm sure they all have just one huge Tori gate. Or perhaps, unbeknownst to me, there are lots of shrines with multiple Tori. Hmm. Hmm. Huh, so if I wanted to dedicate a Tori, I'd be able to. So there's a new, unique shrine like this in Nagasaki too, huh? Hmm. One leg, huh? I've never heard of it. I want to check it out if I ever have the chance to go to Nagasaki. But first, I've got to go... got to do all the sightseeing here. <laughs> hmm. My gaze lands on a charm for work. It's just a simple red design, but it's it's the words on it that attract me. Hmm. A charm to help accomplish my goals. The little one for me, even if I don't know what it is I want to accomplish? <laughs> hmm. I want to do something. 
next day. Wow, that was awesome, dude. Did you watch the newspaper? Look for the newspaper tomorrow. You're gonna you're gonna read about me, man. Oh, you're gonna be here tomorrow. Too? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you know, I knocked over a bank. I mean, what did you do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me here a while then. <laughs> That'd be that would be uh. Yeah, Robin Bank would be something. <laughs> that would be doing something. That's the point. Really random. What would you expect from the series? <laughs> so, I guess what she's saying is, probably, probably wouldn't cause you to knock over a bank. I kind of clasp my hand tightly in, her, in hers encouragingly, as she insists. I get the impression that she's even more fervent about this than me, and I can't help but chuckle. Yeah, that's why I'm laughing. I mean, it feels like you're taking this even more seriously than me. I laugh because I'm happy. Back in my hometown, none of my friends ever encouraged me like you did just now. Although I guess I also didn't really talk to anyone about it. At this, Akane stares intently at me for a moment, then pokes me in the forehead. Seems to be a pretty common, uh, <laughs> pretty common theme in this game. Uh, sharing problems and trying not to worry too much. <laughs> Is that a Japanese proverb or something? Makes sense, makes sense. Not quite sure I get it, but I understand what she's trying to say and I smile vaguely. Yeah. The gist of what she's saying makes sense. Now basically, it might be hard to talk about something. But it's better than keeping it bottled up and then it come out in a whole different way. Or affect it, you know. Yeah, got it. If I'm in a bind, I'll come talk to you. <laughs> Oops. She sticks out her little finger. She takes my hand and almost forcefully entwines her little finger with mine. I'm making it swear by force. And when you say needles, are you meaning something like really, really strong that'll burn your throat? I'm gonna assume that she's that it's a metaphor for something, because it doesn't seem it doesn't seem physically possible to drink needles. It, it seems painful one way or the other, though. If they're shaking our joined hands vigorously a few times. She lets go. You're amazing, Akane. Just seeing you being so energetic makes my worries fade away. <gasps> You're amazing, Akane. Just seeing you being so energetic makes my worries fade away. Idiot anywhere in that sentence. What? Seriously, what? That's not what I meant. I was feeling embarrassed of myself for being so wishy washy. I'm glad it came out with Akane today. Her smile and her words are enough to bring me out of my funk. Thanks for today. I had a great time. 
Kimi to dekakeru. Suki ya kara. Kani waves goodbye and I take my leave and make my way back to Ukiyoen. Okay, we got more. We got more stuff we can skill. Hmm. No, I can't go home yet. I'm worried about Akane. There's a kind of sadness behind her cheerful expression. I wore a lot, and there's no way I can just leave her and go back home. I'll drop by Asahiya tomorrow. Okay, I guess this is now the point where we're where we're officially on uh, Akane group. Murmuring that to myself, I slowly close my eyes. Head out, head out to look for work. My okay, okay. Wow, I've said this word uh, several times already. I messed up on that one. My Kyoto is amazing. Everything's made of wood. Heard these wooden buildings still around after hundreds of years. I'm supposed to be looking for recruitment posters, but before I know, I'm completely entranced by the scenery. Well, I guess that's part of Kyoto's appeal. As I'm walking around thinking about this, my stomach suddenly lets out a loud gurgle. Glance around, sure that someone must have heard the unexpectedly loud sound. But either they didn't hear, or they're pretending not to, as everyone walks on it by indifferently. It'd be funny if it was like, from here, from here, not there, here, not there. <laughs> that would be, that'd be embarrassing, one way or the other. I should eat something. Muttered to myself and start towards the one restaurant I know. Funny has done a very good job promoting this restaurant. <laughs> Feel like he's gonna eat there every time. <laughs> Hello! Open the sliding door and lift up the curtain to enter the store, then automatically come to a stop when I notice the strained atmosphere. Yep. I figured that those dudes would show up. Inside the restaurant, an elderly man is talking with two younger men in suits. What's going on? The mood here feels tense. The two suited men are looking down on the older man intimid intimidatingly. The elderly man is frowning and saying nothing in response. I should probably just leave. Get the impression that I shouldn't be here right now, so I turn to leave. Huh? I was getting out of here, Connie. Thanks! Turning back around at the sound of my name, I find a Connie looking at me in surprise. <laughs> yeah. You seem surprised. I've seen it like the last three days or so. Last two or three days. Just stay three, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of getting lunch here, but... Uh, hang on. Ignoring my protest, Akane grabs hold of my arm and drags me out of the building. Once we're out of the restaurant, Akane doesn't say a word, but just keeps pulling me along determined, determinedly by the arm. Uh, Akane... Call her name hesitantly, but she doesn't seem to hear me and just keeps riding on. Akane! What? Nani? This time a shout gets through to her and she, lo she looks at me in surprise. What do you mean, what? You weren't answering me! Oh, I was hoping that's what she's doing. She finally comes to a stop. Um, where are we going? Connie repeats the word back as she looks around us. Thought you said you were going to take me someplace to eat. But I... She definitely hiding something. Ignoring my protest, she's just about to start dragging me off again when... <laughs> I'm assuming it's, it's stomach growl. But we're going to find out for sure if that was the next episode. Maybe farted. Maybe maybe it was her fart. Maybe she's a farter. Maybe she maybe she likes to fart a lot. <laughs> it's a stomach growl. <laughs> note the, here, here's a note, guys. Don't ass, don't don't uh, I wouldn't accuse uh, a girl you just meet of a uh, farting though. I would, I would just just don't 
don't do that. <laughs> Probably best not to do it anyway to any to a girl who you've known any amount of time. So yeah. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's episode. I do sincerely hope you enjoyed. Maybe next one we'll find out what the deal is with uh, those two guys. I feel like they're trying to run them out of business, though. That's just my instinct. That's what everything's lining up with, you know. The whole story about how her family, you know, has worked so hard for that place. And them saying they're trying to get somebody out of, of some place. So, yeah, it's lines up for, for, for the drama. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.